the next thing is this, what happens next? The idea is you take a simple experiment, especially one with perhaps a slightly obscure or discrepant outcome, and you set it up and you say, what will happen next? Now, when I do this to teachers, I have a problem because um, I've got to give you a little bit harder ones. So that the, some of the things that are obvious to us aren't obvious to the children and, and vice versa. Um, so I'll, I'll do the, a couple that we've put in physics education already. We're doing workshops tomorrow just about all day on what happens next. There's a list that you can get a hold of of 60 that, that I've done. But the first one that, that I, I came across was the two balloon experiment. This is a, um, a hose pipe joiner. Two balloons, a big one and a little one. Um, and I'm going to open the tap. Don't tell the people what you think will happen if you've seen it before. So what happens when I open the tap? Will the big one blow the little one up or will the little one blow the big one up? Right? So you've got to think about it. It's, it's very obvious once you know. And you can do this with any level of children. Um, kindergarten, nursery, whatever, we'll still discuss this because, amazingly, the little one blows the big one up. Right? It's not Boyle's law. The amounts of gas are different. It's to do with pressure. And you can explain that very easily eventually because when do the children say, can you give me a help with the balloon? Dad, can you help me start it? You know, the pressure is much bigger when you start blowing the balloon up than when you finish. We, we did this at uh, Science on Stage in Berlin a couple of years ago. And uh, next, oops, go to the next one. There should be a graph, yeah. Um, one of the uh, teachers from Slovakia has taken this up and has done a, it's almost a research project on it with the pressure in different balloons. This is the pressure in a balloon. It's big at the beginning, and then you get a sort of low pressure bit as you're blowing it up, and then it goes high at the, at the, the end. So you can actually get the big balloon to blow the little one up if you put the little balloon in this area and blow the balloon up just until it's about to burst. It, it can be a bit, a bit tricky, that, because you often <laughs> usually burst. Just, just so you don't know. Children have said, oh, well, if you put it that way, it won't work, because you know, the, the gas has got to go up instead of down. <coughs> but in fact, it does. The little one blows the big one up. Good things in little bundles, you know, if you want to use it as an illustration for assembly or whatever.